Welcome back, everybody, to At the Van Wezel. I'm Mary Bensel, the executive director of, of the hall, and I have here with my with me my friend Julia Mays, our marketing director, and we had a great summer. And we just finished three of our four Friday Fests. We still have one coming yeah. up yeah. September 16th, and uh, it's called the Bird Street Players. And I tell you, the Friday Fests have been so wonderful this year. Oh my gosh, so much fun. Thankful oh, and that the sunny. rain stayed away. And, and the funniest story from the last Friday Fest, uh, well, actually it was two Friday Fests ago, was um, somebody came running up to me and saying, there are two women up on the top of the roof of the Van Wezel. Oh, this was hilarious. You know, taking pictures. And I'm like, oh my heavens, you know, what are we going to to do and so I call the police and the police come and who is it but two of our maintenance men taking pictures for you <laughs> <laughs> and they, and had they were great, great pictures, pictures. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought they don't look like women at all <laughs> both of them had beards otherwise you know we might have some not attractive not ladies be, here yeah, you know <laughs> oh gosh that was so but funny anyway, come to our last Friday fest and make it the best season we've ever had a Friday fest but it is what I always call my most exciting exciting time of the year. Yeah, mine it's, too. it's the Christmas of the Van Wazel, you know, when we get to unwrap the whole box of new shows. And we've talked about some of them that are already on sale. Yes. And I think we should go through them first, but right here we have um, Jim Henson's puppets. And now these are puppets for grown-ups. In fact, the sheriff and the police chief have been telling me they have found them in their jail. They are getting in trouble day in, day out. <laughs> I heard they were in the commission chambers, you know, going behind the city commissioners on yep. TV. They're just terrible. But how did these naughty puppets come about, Jules? Well, actually, Jim Henson, who originated the first puppets, the real puppets. Um, well, you mean puppets, like, like uh, Kermit and Kermit, Miss Piggy? Uh, yes, absolutely. Miss Piggy! <laughs> Um, was wonderful. I, I, I mirrored her and career. Her, yes, you did very well. <laughs> and behind the um, the scenes, when they were always on commercial break, um, his son and all the other puppeteers back there would do their own renditions, kind of like an improv of what they thought the puppets really should be saying. And, and the puppets so, <laughs> say some really bad things and, and do bad on, puppet things. Yeah, it's, ba it's based on, you know, it's an improv. So it's based on what audience we have and what the feedback from the audience is. It on should what be they come so back with. cool. Oh, and that is, um, that is on October the 5th. And um, I tell you that um, think about Avenue Q and how much fun those puppets were. So even though you may say, why would an adult go to see puppets? Well, this is, and it's become a new thing because there's a great um, ventriloquist that's a comedian out yep. there. And, and this is going to be the hit of the year, believe me. And, and even teenagers. I mean, this is great for teenagers also because they oh. want them to participate yeah, in the audience. Yeah, they're, they're not that naughty. They're no. not that naughty. No, and they're it just naughty. depends on what the, what the audience gives back. Right. So, and then yeah. there's a lady that we have tried to get for four or five years around here. Her name is Katie Lang. Many of you may have seen her on the Olympics. She was on the Canadian version of the Olympics. Mm -hmm. She has the most gorgeous voice. I, I mean, she just put chills down my back. And that is October the 9th. And you're, and the you know, sis boom bang, and the sis boom, sis boom bang, bang. <laughs> and and the thing is, you're not going to get probably a chance to see her again because it took me this long to get her yes. to come. So get your tickets now, and they are on sale by, either on our website or by calling what nine five three 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 six eight. Look right. at you! I know. Woman. I've only been here four Mike, years. Must have been got, that trip to Hawaii. I've got huh? half the I've Woo. got half the numbers down. <laughs> well, next year I'm going to South Africa. Just imagine uh -oh. what I could do. I don't, you know? I'm not sure. That's scary. I know. And then <laughs> going from Africa, we going to Ireland and Celtic Thunder, which is well over 50% sold out now for oh, yeah. a show that's in October. And these guys are cute. And they are hot. They've been up at Ruth Eckerd Hall and, and all around the country. They're, they're just fabulous. And, and coming to us again. Yes, on excited. October 14th. Well, actually, they've never been here. Oh, that's right. They haven't been here. They have never right. been here, but they are going to take... Sarasota by Irish Storm, I'll tell you. And then probably the biggest show of the year is coming. The biggest show of the year. Um, as Julia said, I was, uh, I was flying across the country on vacation, and I happened to be in Hollywood. And um, I was on the plane, and just so happens I'm sitting next to a producer on the plane. I said, excuse me, you know, I'm in the theater business, and we get talking, and this one guy is actually Frankie Valli's manager and, I and know, is that, involved. It's so amazing, such a I know. small world, And then it? I was telling him, we have the biggest star of all time, Dolly Parton, coming to town. And he's like, you know, she's playing tonight at the Hollywood Bowl. 
and um, she played the night before, and she was sold out both performances. So you think that we, and she was on Jay Leno the same night, and so who would think little Sarasota, but it, beautiful Sarasota, could get a star of this magnitude who's selling out the Hollywood Bowl. That's I mean, amazing. two nights and in a row. And you know, she's only doing two dates in Florida. I know. At all. And, and, I, and she's we never been here. fortunate to get her. And she, I, I was lucky enough to meet Miss Dolly, and she is one of the nicest, most down to earth. I mean, what you see is what you get, and, and you get a lot. <laughs> yes. And, and she's gorgeous. And she'll tell you that. And she'll tell you that. <laughs> and she'll tell you where she got it, too, yeah. you know? <laughs> but Dolly. Um, They're all mine. Uh, you know, and I had a lady tell me she had, uh, she wasn't a Dolly fan, and but she'd gotten some tickets to see her in, I guess, Atlantic City or somewhere, and she said it was the most exciting, fabulous concert she'd ever seen in her yeah, life. She's wonderful. And she's getting rave reviews on this concert tour, and her new album, um, I believe it's A New Day, or a um, new day. has been getting just rave reviews. People Magazine went wild over it. So Dolly Parton is so exciting. And again, folks, buy your tickets now. There's still some left, um, I believe, and the phone number is 953-3368 and Julia made an excellent point while we were talking here that people make sure you go to the Van Wazel website www.vanwazel v w v van wazel spell it out v a n w e z e l dot org that is our official site because it is very important because there are secondary ticket markets out there where they resell the tickets at enormously inflated prices. And makes it look like it's our website. They have a picture of our and, you know, theater and everything. So. And they won't necessarily, and then when you come with your ticket, we don't know that whether that will yeah. be an actual ticket. So please go to our website and say that again, Jules. Van Wazel, spell it out, www.vanwazel.org. Okay. Now, we are opening that package of shows that we haven't talked to you about before, and we're going to have a phenomenal season this year. And, and I can tell you there's still five or six more shows than what we've already talked about. But um, on September the 10th, Saturday, September the 10th at 10 a.m., tickets were going to be going on sale. And then we're also going to have them on sale on Sunday, September 11th. And something that's, we're going to be open at 10 a.m. And then we're doing something really special. We're um, collaborating with the Sarasota Orchestra to do a great concert um, as a tribute to 9-11. And that will be that night, September the 10th at 7.30. And then September the 11th at 2.30. And there'll be lots of great patriotic music. Um, it will be phenomenal um, visuals, um, and it is the 10th anniversary of 9-11, and we, will, we in the orchestra wanted to pay tribute. And after um, we're donating the hall, and they're donating their core orchestra, and um, we're, the proceeds are going to go to three great charities that um, really help with responding to crisis. Yeah, I think and, it's you know, so many people were lost that day. Summon the heroes. Yeah, right. summon the heroes, and... Um, you know, they, the heroes weren't just at the uh, trade centers. The heroes were also in Pennsylvania um, and at the Pentagon. And um, we all know where we were that day. And uh, I just think this is going to be a wonderful thing for the city. So yeah. summon the heroes. Be here. Buy your tickets on sale. And then stay and see a great concert. And so that is very special. But we have a great, um, in addition to the shows we talked about for October, starting in November, we start with one of my favorite bands, Huey Lewis and the News. Oh, I am so excited about them. Coming. I do. Yeah. It's it's very like, exciting. It's, it's, it's so fabulous. So we have Huey, and then we go right into Capital City. And he's S never been here before either. I, I, don't, know. I, I don't know. I don't know. But, no. uh, you know, I, I had a story where I actually was staying somewhere where he was staying, and they actually played in this little restaurant's bar, and it was one of the coolest nights of my life. Oh my and he's gosh, so handsome, wonderful. and oh my but gosh. You didn't see anybody on the plane with him. No, 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 he wasn't on my plane. But <laughs> Huey Lewis, the news, November 1st. And then we have Capital Steps coming, and who knows with what's going on in the political world what Capital Steps is going to come well, up sure with this time. I'm sure it'll be very funny this and time. And it will be very relevant because it'll be close to the election on November 3rd. And then Audra McDonald. Audra McDonald is one of my favorite Broadway stars. She's won four Tony Awards, and she won for Carousel and for Ragtime and all sorts of great shows. She is about to open on Broadway in Porgy and Bess. She's going to be the, the, the gala at the Naples Philharmonic down the road from us. 
And, and there's a little twist now on, I uh, yeah, understand. Well, there's some controversy about the book and the changes in that, but she will be singing here in concert. And the other thing with Audra is Audra, of course, was the star of Private pa Practice on television, which is, um, you know, one of which my a lot of favorite television shows for. to watch. So yeah. that's still running on the air. So Audra is fabulous. You will not hear a better singer than Audra McDonald. Now, we will be back at the Van Wazel, which is very noisy today because we have a show getting ready for us behind us. And so all sorts of people are walking in and out. So if you hear someone, that's what's going on. But come back, and we will tell you more of what's going on the Van Wazel.